In this problem, we have a crank rocker mechanism. The crank is the orange circle. It's fixed and pinned at C, and it rotates in a full circle. And the rocker is the slotted arm AB that follows the pin as the crank goes around. The rocker is pinned at A. We're asked to find, at the current instant, what is the angular velocity of the rocker AB. So we're going to start with known values. Well, we know the velocity of A is 0, and the velocity of C is 0. We're told that omega BC, which is shown here at theta dot, is minus 2 rads per second in the k-hat direction. We know that r of b with respect to c is going to be 0 0.5. That's the radius of the uh, crank. And it's at an angle of 60 degrees. So we've got cos 60 i-hat plus sine 60 j hat meters. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.25 i hat plus 0 0.433 j hat meters. We also know that r of b with respect to a is going to be the distance d times cos phi in the i hat plus sine phi in the j hat meters. And finally, we know RC with respect to A is going to be just the radius in both directions. So that's 0 0.5 I hat plus 0 0.5 J hat meters. We have to make an assumption about the direction of omega AB at this instant. So we're just going to assume it's positive. Again, the math will tell us if we're wrong. So we're going to say the vector omega AB equals the scalar omega AB in the k-hat direction. So one of the first things we need to do is figure out what phi is at this instant. So we're going to do a little geometry. What we know is that r of b with respect to a has to be equal to r of c with respect to a plus r of b with respect to c. And so we can, we have expressions for all of those. And so we can just write them out. So that's d cos phi i hat plus d sine phi j hat equals 0 0.5 i hat plus 0 0.5 j hat plus 0 0.25 i hat plus 0 0.433 j hat. And so that gives us, if we split it into components, d cos phi equals 0 0.75 and j hat gives us d sine phi equals 0 0.933. i hat gives us d equals 0 0.75 over cos phi. j then we sub in and that gives us 0 0.75 sine phi over cos phi equals 0 0.933 or tan phi equals 1.244. And using that, we can find that phi equals 51.2 degrees and d equals 1.20 meters. Our approach will be to write two equations for VB. If we look here, B is a point on the crank mechanism. 
that's undergoing fixed rotation, which means that VB has to be in this direction perpendicular to RB with respect to C. So that's going to be our first equation, looking at the crank mechanism. So we can write VB equals VC plus omega BC cross with RB with respect to C. Recall that VC is zero, so that's zero, and we know omega BC, so we can plug that in, minus two rads per second in the k hat, cross with RB with respect to C, that's gonna be 0.25 i hat plus 0.433 j hat meters, we do that cross product and we find the result is 0.866 i hat minus 0.5 j hat meters per second. So now we have an expression of B, VB and this is translating frames. That's our translating frames equation. Now we're gonna do a second expression for VB this time coming from A to B. And because that pin B is sliding along AB, sliding along the rocker, we have to use a rotating frames equation. So we'll write that VB equals VA plus omega AB cross R B with respect to A plus our extra rotating frames velocity, V, B with respect to A relative, okay? Now, we need to have a rotating frame on our body. I'm gonna place the frame so that X prime is along our rocker and Y prime is perpendicular. That means that uh, VB with respect to A relative is only in the I prime direction. The other thing that we know is that RB with respect to A is also only in the I prime direction. So that simplifies our equation a lot. So we know VA is zero. Uh, Omega doesn't change whether we use the I or I prime direction because K is always in the same direction. So we'll have omega AB in the K or K prime. We can write it either way. Crossed with 1.2 meters in the I hat prime. Remember we found that D, 1.2 meters, plus the scalar VB with respect to A relative in the I hat prime direction. And so that's gonna come out to 1.2 omega AB J hat prime plus VB with respect to A relative, the scalar, I hat prime, okay? Now we've got one expression for VB in I and J and one expression in I prime and J prime. And so we'll want to translate coordinate systems so we can combine them. Now, because our two unknowns, omega AB and VB with respect to A relative, only occur in I prime or J prime, they're already separate, we'll have an easier time of solving if we translate everything into the I prime and J prime coordinate system. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna write VB from the translating frames in X prime, Y prime, Z prime. So basically we replace I 
with an expression that describes I in the other coordinate system. So we'll say we know that VB was equal to 0 0.866 I hat plus, sorry, minus 0 0.5 J hat. So this becomes 0 0.866 times cos phi in I hat minus sine phi in J hat. So that's how we express, sorry, in the primes. That's how we express the vector I hat in I prime J prime minus 0 0.5 times cos phi J hat prime plus sine phi I hat prime. And when we do out this value, knowing that phi is 51.2 degrees, we end up being able to express VB as 0 0.153 I hat prime minus 0 0.988 J hat prime. If you want to check, the vector is the same vector, just expressed in a new coordinate system. And so what you can do is find the length of both of these vectors as a quick check. So we take 0 0.8, 0 0.866 squared plus 0 0.5 squared should be equal to 0 0.153 squared plus 0 0.988 squared. So that's just a quick check you can do um, to make sure that you've done your transformation right. Okay. So now we have two expressions for VB, and they're both in the same coordinate system. So now we equate them. So we can say 0 0.153 I hat minus 0 0.988 J hat equals 1.2 omega AB J hat plus VB with respect to A relative the scalar in the I hat prime. Primes all the way through. And then we look at components. So we can write I hat prime 0 0.153 equals VB with respect to A relative the scalar. And in J hat prime minus 0 0.988 equals 1.2 omega AB. That tells us that omega AB equals minus 0 0.8 to four rads per second. The minus tells us that when we assigned it positive, we were wrong. So it, the math is directly giving us the correct, uh, the correct direction. And so our final vector value for omega AB is minus 0 0.824 rads per second in the k hat or k hat prime direction. Thanks for watching this video. Find more videos and material at Mechanics Map.